بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا بكم في فيديو جديد وحلقه جديده لقناتنا انجليش فور اربس النهارده ان شاء الله باذن الله هناخد بقيه الوحده ال 13 هتضمن الفيديو اول جزء معاني الكلمات الجزء الثاني عباره عن شرح لبقيه الكتاب وبقيه الوحده اما الجزء الثالث فيكون عباره عن باوربوينت هنقدم فيه الجرامر ولو فيه هوم وورك هيكون الجزء بتاعنا عباره عن to watch a video اللي انت تفرج على فيديو من كامبريدج تخش على كامبريدج اركيد انتر تشينج اركيد www.cambridge.org/interchangearcade هتلاقي فيه العاب كتيره جدا وجميله واكسرسايزز جميله جدا على اليونت بالاضافه الى الفيديو التعليمي لكامبريدج let's start 6 vinegar Vinegar, lemon juice. Vinegar. Seven, mashed, smashed. Eight, meatballs, meatballs. Cucumber, cucumber. A kind of vegetables used for making salad. A kind of vegetables. Vegetables, mish vegetables. No, e silent. E here silent. Vegetables. A kind of vegetables used for making salad. 11. Local, inside the country. Lettuce, lettuce, tea, soft tea. Lettuce, letter, lettuce. A kind of vegetables for making salad. Lettuce. 12. A cappuccino, a cappuccino. Coffee made with heated milk and powdered chocolate. A cup of coffee made with heated milk and powdered chocolate. 12. Parking valets. Restaurants or, or hotel employees who park your car. Restaurants or hotel employees who park your car. Courtesy. Extensive manners. Respect, courtesy, respect. Slang, slang, informal spoken language, informal spoken language. Size, amount, size, amount. Hotel maid, hotel servant, hotel maid, hotel servant. Bell hops, bell hops. Hotel employees who carry your bags. Porters. Bellhops. Porters. Guidelines. General rules. Instructions. Guidelines. General rules. Instructions. Porters. People who carry your bags. Service providers. Service providers. People in the service industry. People, American, British, people. People in the service industry. People, British, American, people. Unit 13 workbook. 7. Boiled eggs. Courtesy, the excellence of manners. Respect. Exercise number 7. Grammar focus. Exercise 7 Grammar Focus Modal Verbs Would and Well for Requests Listen Page 89 Exercise 7 Grammar Focus Modal Verbs Would and Will for Requests What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. 
Modern verbs. Modern verbs can, could, shall, should, well, would, may, might, ought to. After the modal verbs, we have main verb. We put main verb. Modal verb plus main verb. What would you like? Would you like? I'd like. I'd like. I would like. I want. I'd like the lamb kebabs. Lamb, be silent. I'd like. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I want the lamb kebab. I'd like, I'd love, I want. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'd like, I want. I'll have vinaigrette. Vinaigrette? From vinig vinegar. 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 I'll have vinaigrette. I'll have vinegar. Lemon juice. What would you like to? Would you like to? Plus main verb, infinitive. I'd like. I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. Water, T soft D. Water, water. An R, double R. Double R. R, water, water. I'd like, I want. No, thank you. That'll be all. That, T soft D. That, that'll. That'll. B and A vowel, so we put yes sound. That'll be all. That'll be all. That'll be all. I'll. I will. I'd. I would. Contraction. Shortage. Abbreviation. I'll. I will. I'd. I would. What does it mean would like? Would like. I would like. I'd like. I'd like, I want, I'll have. I'd like, I want, I'll have. I want, I wanna. I'd like, I want, I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'd like to have a cup of tea. A cup of, of, a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. So, would like means I want, I wanna, I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. We'd like. I'd like. I'd like, I want, I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. Unit 13. May I take your order? So, in the restaurant, there are different conversations. The conversation is between a customer, this is a customer, and a waiter. Waiter, customer. So, in the restaurant, we have different conversation. Waiter, customer. Waiter. Are you ready to order? Customer? Yes, I think so. What would you like to order? What would you like to order? T plus infinitive. What would you like to eat? I'd like the lamb kebabs. This is lamb kebabs. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I want the lamb kebabs. This is the main dish. What kind of dressing would you like? Dressing. Dressing. Sauce. Dressing. Spices. Blue cheese. Vinaigrette. In the USA, blue cheese and vinaigrette. What kind of dressing would you like? Customer. 
I'd like blue cheese. I'd like, I want. What would you like to drink? I'd like a cup of tea. Would you like a dessert? A dessert? Sweets. Chocolate. Ice cream. Yes, I'd like ice cream, please. What flavor would you like? Flavor, like vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. I'd like chocolate, please. This is ice cream. With which flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate flavor ice cream. Waiter, would you like anything else? Do you want anything else? No, thanks. That'll be all. That'll be all. Take care. That. T soft D. That'll. Be all. Here we have the yeah sound. That'll be all. The yeah sound between the E and the vowel A. So, that'll be all. No thanks. That'll be all. Complete this conversation, then practice with a partner. Waitress. Waiter. A man. Waitress. A woman. A woman who works in a restaurant. A young lady or girl or woman who works in a restaurant. Who serves customers. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. What you like to order? What would you? What would you like to order? Customer. I'll. I'll have the fried chicken. You like rice or potatoes? Would you? Would you like rice or potatoes? Potatoes, please. Potatoes, please. Would with like. Would you like rice or potatoes? Potatoes, please. What kind of potatoes would you like? What kind of potatoes would you like? Mashed, baked, or French fries? French fries in hot oil. Baked, baked inside the oven. You put the potatoes in the oven. Mashed, you smash, smash the potatoes. I like mashed potatoes. I like, I'd, I'd like mashed potatoes. Okay, and you like anything, yeah, anything to drink? And would you like, and would you like anything to drink? I guess I have a cup of coffee. I'll, I'll have a cup of coffee. I'll, I will. I'll, I will have a cup of coffee. I'll have a cup of coffee. A cup of, a cup of coffee. Would you like? Would you like anything else? No, that be all for now. Thanks. That, that'll. That'll be all for now. Thanks. Later. After some time, later. Waiters, would you dessert? Dessert sweets. This is a dessert, chocolate. Would you like dessert? Yes. I like ice cream. I'd like ice cream. Yes, I'd like ice cream. What flavor? What flavor would you like? Hmm. I have chocolate, please. Chocolate. I'll. I'll have chocolate, please. Okay, I'll bring it right away. So again, the answers of later. Like. I'd. Would. Exercise number eight. Rule play in a coffee shop. Look at the picture. What do you see? Hmm. K. 
customers food drinks so this is a restaurant or a cafeteria a coffee shop so this is a coffee shop or cafeteria you're in a cafeteria you're in a coffee shop you're in a restaurant A and B you're a customer in a coffee shop this is what you want to order for lunch coffee shop in Egypt here for drinks but in the USA you can drink a cup of coffee and you can have a meal or light meal some snacks this is what you want to order for lunch spaghetti spaghetti meatballs spaghetti and meatballs tomato and cucumber salad a nice tea with lemon a slice of cheesecake student B you're the waiter or waitress take your customers order change rules and try the rule play again use your own ideas you and your friend start to talk make a conversation a student a a customer student B a waiter or waitress you make the conversation you can write this order or you can write any kind of food like stuffed cabbage lamb kebab mulukhiya kushari salad any kind of food mixed green salad the Egyptian people like to drink tea a cup of tea for everyone so tea coffee to make this conversation you can make it like this waiters and customers the same one but with different orders desserts for example in Egypt we like umali umali dessert rice with milk chocolate ice cream exercise 9 listening listening let's order in this exercise what do you see a waiter and the waiter has a very big order a cup of coffee burger cheesecake maybe different kinds of food listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant what did each of them order fill in their check so this is the check and you will write what does everyone order not both of them together no what does Rex order or what did Rex order what did Hannah order everyone alone let's start to listen page 90 exercise 9 listening let's order part a listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant what did each of them order fill in their check hi may I take your order yes I'll have a cup of coffee cream and sugar oh yes please and you I'd like a chicken sandwich and I'll have some chips oh you call them French fries here <laughs> right I'll have some French fries please all right one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries uh, anything else yes I'd like an iced tea please one iced tea thank you oh wait a minute what kind of desserts do you have well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. 
Thanks. Listen again. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Oh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of French fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Rex. What does Rex order? Rex is a man, Hannah is a woman. Hannah is a woman. Take care. Hannah is a woman and she's a British. She's a, she has a British accent. Rex. What did Rex order? Rex ordered a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and an apple pie. So Rex ordered a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and apple pie. Hannah, a chicken sandwich. Chips, chips, British, American, French fries, chicken sandwich, chips or French fries, iced tea. Again the answers, for Rex, a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and an apple pie. Hannah, Hannah ordered a chicken sandwich, chips or french fries uh, and iced tea a question to you what about the desserts what kind of desserts do we have in the restaurant in the restaurant there are ice cream pie chocolate moss and cake ice cream, pie, chocolate moss, and a cake. What kind of pie do we have? An apple pie, a cherry pie, a lemon pie. Apple, cherry, and lemon. Hannah was speaking British, British accent. She said, I'll take some of yours, yours, she didn't say yours, yours, British, American, yours. I'll, a piece later, she said later, later. American, later, later, British, later. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. The waiter will forget to bring two dishes, two kinds. Listen. Page 90. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. Oh, here comes our waiter. Yeah, I wondered what took so long. Phew, here you are. Uh, I ordered french fries with my chicken sandwich. And you brought me, yuck, mashed potatoes with gravy. Oh, you ordered french fries? Yes. Well, then, okay. Uh, and could I have the apple pie I ordered? What apple pie? 
Did you order apple pie? Uh-huh, yeah. I did, with my coffee, remember? Really? Gee, how did I forget that? Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes? How long have you been a waiter? Who, me? Oh, uh, today is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get your apple pie and the french fries right away. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. Items, T sub D. Waiter, waiter, T sub D and R, -R waiter. The waiter forgot to bring two items. The waiter forgot to bring the french fries and the apple pie. The french fries and the apple pie. Does the waiter have experience? No, he doesn't. The waiter doesn't have any experience. Is he a professional waiter? No, he's not. He's not a professional waiter. He's not a professional waiter because he doesn't have experience. This is his first day at work. This is his first time to work as waiter. Look at the picture, what do you see? A chef, he's in restaurant, he's making pizza, pie, I don't know, what to guess, maybe it's a pizza, a pie, pancake, Writing a restaurant review. Have you eaten out at a restaurant recently? How was it? Write a review of the restaurant for a local newspaper. Write a review. A review to say what's good and what's bad about something. Last week. Last week I had lunch at Luigi's. Luigi's, a new Italian restaurant in my neighborhood. I ordered a green salad and cheese pizza. The pizza was excellent, but but the salad wasn't very good. The lettuce, lettuce, a kind of vegetable for making salad, a vegetable for making salad. The lettuce wasn't very fresh. For dessert, I had chocolate cake and a cappuccino. The cake was rich and delicious and uh, blah blah blah. So, here, this is going to be homework. You write a, a paragraph about any restaurant and you make a review. You write a paragraph about any restaurant. You write what's good and what's bad. The food. The place. The view. Does the restaurant have a view? Some restaurants have views on the Nile or a view on the sea, on the Red Sea. Parking. Can you park your car? Is there a good parking in front of the restaurant or near the restaurant? The food was delicious or not? The waiters, the waiters were friendly or the waiters were not friendly. The service, when you give them the order, did they, prep, did they prepare it fast or it, it, it took a long time? I went to a restaurant to have lunch at 2 o'clock. They prepared and cooked the food. And you started to eat at 
You stayed an hour and a half. The atmosphere. Was the restaurant crowded, noisy, or quiet and calm? Did you listen to music or not? You can write a paragraph about any experience for any restaurant you have had lunch or dinner at. Exercise 12 Reading 12 Reading Look at the picture. What do you see? A man, and this man is giving money to a lot of people. Who is this man? Guess. A manager? Workers? Maybe. A manager, and he gives the workers and employees salaries a manager and he pays money for them gives them the wages a customer and he gives all of those people tips like this one chef valet Hairstylist, barber, hairstylist or barber, roommate, taxi driver, waiter, waiter. To tap or not to tap? Tap to pay taps. Do you like to pay to pay taps? Do you like to pay taps in restaurants? When you park your car and hear silence to the taxi driver or not. Let's start to read. To tap or not to tap. Scan the article. How much should you tip someone in the United States? Who carries your suitcase at a hotel? Suitcase bag. Travel bag. Suitcase a bag. A travel bag. Who parks your car? Who serves you in a fast food restaurant? Who serves you in a fast food restaurant? The word tap comes from an old English slang word that means to give. The word tap it comes from an old English spoken word, slang, spoken word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. I can use it a noun, a tap. I paid a tap. I gave him a tap. A verb to tap, I tipped, I paid money. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. The American people usually tap, tip, pay tips for people in different places. In restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. First question, where does the word tip come from? The word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. Is it a noun or a verb? It's both, it's both a noun and a verb. Where do American people usually tip? Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. 
A tip shows that the customer is pleased, is happy with the service. The people who work in these places often get paid low wages. They get low salaries, low amounts of money. If the customer pays tip, it means that the customer is pleased with the service, is very happy with the service. So, do those people, do those people who work in airports, restaurants, hotels, and hair salons get high salaries, high wages? No, they don't. They get paid low wages. What does a tip mean? What does a tip mean? A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service, that the customer is happy with the service. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tap. The size of the tap usually depends on the service. People such as parking valets or pill hops usually get smaller taps. So the people who are working as parking valets who park the cars, like this person, parking valets or pill hops, Bill hops porters, like someone who carries the bag or the suitcase, usually get smaller tips, very very small tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waitresses is usually larger. But taxi drivers, waiters, and waitresses get high, get large tips. Here are a few guidelines for tapping in the United States. Guidelines and instructions. General rules. Here are general rules for tapping, for paying taps in the USA, in the United States. Who gets smaller tips? parking valets and bill hops who get large tip taxi drivers wearers and waitresses but who get smaller tips parking valets and bill hops usually get smaller tips Airport porters or hotel bill hops, one dollar or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. So if you're going to carry a suitcase, which means travel bag or bag, one suitcase, one dollar or two dollars. If I have five suitcases, you will pay ten dollars from five to ten dollars. Parking valets. One dollar for parking a car. If you are going to park the car, you will pay one dollar for parking your car. For the parking valets. Parking valets. A parking valet, a person who parks the car for you. Hotel door attendants. One dollar or two dollars for getting a taxi. For getting a taxi, you pay one dollar or two dollars for the hotel door attendance. Hotel maids one dollar to five dollars per night. Every night you pay five dollars. So if I stayed in a hotel for seven days for one week, I'm gonna pay seven dollars or thirty five dollars from seven dollars to thirty five dollars. Taxi drivers 15% of the bill more if they help you with bags. For taxi drivers, you will pay 15% of the bill. For example, if my bill about $100, I'll pay $115. $100 a 
with the bell and fifteen dollars as a tip. If the drivers carry the bags for me, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay him one hundred twenty-five dollars extra money for helping me with the bags. In a restaurant, waiters and waitresses, waiters and waitresses, fifteen to twenty percent, twenty to twenty percent of the bill. There is no tipping in fast food restaurants. In fast food restaurants, we don't pay tips. Fast food restaurants like McDonald's, but you pay in a restaurant fifteen percent of the bill. If I have lunch and my and my bill is one hundred dollars, I will pay one hundred twenty dollars, twenty dollars as tips. Barbers or hairstylists, barbers or hairstylists, fifteen percent of the bill. When you're not sure about. It. How much to tap? Do what feels right. So, if you if you don't know how much to pay tips, do what feels you right. You don't have to tap for bad service. If I have bad service, I'm not gonna pay tips. And you can give a bigger tap for very good service. If I have a very good service, I will pay bigger tap. Remember, remember though, your behavior is more important than your money. Your behavior, the way you deal people, is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect. All the time, deal the service providers. The people who provide you with service, the people who give you the service with respect, respect them. That's more important than your money. So respect them and pay for them the tax too. A. Read the article. Find the word in italic in the article, then check through the meaning of each word. So in this exercise, we have different words, and we write the answer. We write here the meaning of the word. You choose A or B, like wages, wages, regular pay for a job, or tips received for a job. One minute, try to answer. Wages, wages, regular pay for a job. Number two, pleased, pleased, happy or satisfied, annoyed or bothered, bothered, very angry, annoyed, angry also, pleased, happy or satisfied, happy or satisfied. Three. Three, depend on, be the same as, change according to, be the same as, or change according to, depend on, change according to. Four, behavior, a way of acting or a way of feeling. Behavior, a way of acting. Take care. The word acting here doesn't mean like actor. To act, no, to act toward to deal, to deal with the person. So you're a way of acting, a way of dealing. Treat, ignore or act toward. To treat, to act toward, act toward. Respect, courtesy or rudeness. Respect, courtesy or rudeness. Courtesy, excellence of manners. Good behavior, rudeness to to be impolite, to be impolite, to be rude, 
rude implied to be tough to be rough not to be gentle courtesy so respect courtesy courtesy Exercise number B. Check through the statements that describe a proper tipping behavior for the other items was acceptable. 1. Your haircut costs $30. You love it. You tip the hairstylist $2. Right or wrong? This is wrong. Why? Hairstylist, you go up here. Search for hairstylist. Barber or hairstylist, 15% of the bill. So, $30, that means 4.5, half, four and a half dollar. I should pay to the hairstylist or the barber four and a half dollars. So, number one, wrong. Number two, a porter at the airport helps you with, this, with three suitcases. You tip him six dollars. You give him six dollars a step. Correct. Or wrong. This is correct. Why? Because you have three suitcases, you have three bags, you pay for every bag two dollars, so three suitcases, six dollars. 3. Your fast food meal costs $8. You don't leave a tab. Fast food? Like McDonald's, fast food restaurant. 3. Correct. True. Because in fast food restaurants, we don't pay tabs. 4. You stay in a hotel for a week. You leave a $5 tab for the hotel maid. True or false? False. You stayed seven days. You should pay thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Or at least seven dollars. From seven dollars to thirty-five dollars. Five. Your taxi ride costs fourteen dollars. The driver carries your bag. You tip him. Three dollars. You give him all the three dollars. This is correct. Group work. Is tipping customary in your country? Do you like the idea of tapping? Why or why not? Is paying taps a custom in Egypt? Is paying taps a habit or custom in the Arab world? Is paying taps a habit, a custom, regular dancing or not? Do you like the idea of paying tips? Why? If you don't like, why not? This is your question and you have to answer it. And I accept any answer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. شكرا للمشاهدة. من فضلك اشترك في القناة لتصلك آخر إصداراتنا.